Hey guys, my name's Kent. Today I'm playing Fear on the PC using a Wiimote and software called GlovePie as well as my Belkin USB dongle so I can connect this Bluetooth Wiimote to my PC. This Belkin model number is F8T001 version 2. I'm on Windows 7. I don't believe I had to install any sort of software as far as Bluetooth drivers go for this. I just had to get GlovePie and a good script for it. A script is like a text document full of code. It allows you to control your, P your mouse and your keyboard in PC games with the Wiimote and Nunchuck. It's kind of a pain in the butt to like edit them, but what's cool about them is that you can share them and you can get other people's scripts that they wrote for specific games and you can customize them and make it just the way you want. I'm also using this uh, with the Wiimote you can either use the Wii sensor bar and turn on your Wii if you have a Wii or you can buy wireless sensor bars something like this that are battery powered. This one actually came with my Cabela's Top Shot Elite but it's working just as good as the sensor bar for the Wii. So you need a Bluetooth USB dongle that can connect to your Wiimote and you need a sensor bar in order to play the way I'm playing today. There are some GlovePie scripts uh, for first person shooters that use the Wii Motion Plus and then you don't need a sensor bar but what happens with this is you have to hold a button to move the mouse, hold a button to emulate the mouse, or let go of a button to emulate the mouse, and then push a button to stop emulating the mouse so you can recenter yourself. They call it ratcheting, basically, because you have to like hold down a button to move the mouse, and then if you get way over here, like you do a 180 and you're pointing totally away from the screen, you can let go of the button, move it back to center, and then hold the button to move the mouse again. It's kind of like, kind of like ratcheting. So if you're playing with the Wii Motion Plus with no sensor bar, then you could be spinning all around. You can you can basically play like this, even though the screen's in front of you and you're shooting backwards. But then you might want to hold the button or let go of the button to recenter the mouse, depending on what the glove pie script says, back in front of the screen by ratcheting. Today we're not using the Wii Motion Plus. We're not using ratcheting. Didn't want to worry about an extra button. We're using a script that has a dead zone. I've gone through a lot of first person scripts and I think this is probably my favorite one. But basically, this is sensing the sensor bar and if it gets, the way this script works is if it gets on the edge of the sensor bar then it's going to keep moving the mouse to the left, to the left, to the left, constantly until I get off of the edge of the sensor bar and I go back into the middle of the sensor bar. Same way with the right, same way with up, and down. Basically this works just like it would on a Wii game, just not quite as polished, not quite as good. Anyways, try to demonstrate how it works. Maybe you're asking yourself, why don't I just play with the mouse and keyboard? Why don't I just play with the joystick? Well, I have bad wrists and my wrists get sore from playing this way as well, but it's fun to change it up and it's good for my wrists to change it up as well. As you can see, the sensor bar here is right here above my connect. If I aim to the edge of the sensor bar, then I just keep spinning to the left. If I aim to the right edge of the sensor bar, I just keep spinning to the right. If I just aim in the center of the sensor bar, then I can just aim normally. So that's how I turn. So this is the Perseus Mandate. I've never played this before. I'm having a lot of fun playing it today. There's not that many buttons on the Wemo and Nunchuck because they want you to use the motion stuff and I'm trying to use the shake Nunchuck to turn my flashlight off and on so I can't shake it too much otherwise I'll just it'll flicker it off and on. It takes some getting used to but I like to play it because if I'm, my wrist gets tired of using it this way then I could switch and play it left handed and give my right wrist a break and have more variety and I'm lost of course because I put this down for- oh! oh! So I set up on the D-pad to lean 
left and right for this game because it's got leaning left and right. It's pretty cool. into the fog. What, you thought I didn't die? So smoky, I can't see nothing. Oh my god. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Get down. I can shoot you without so much smoke. That set up there too. If you if I stab the Wemo, it's gonna throw a grenade. Can't see nothing. Oh, he got me again. It's because this is wireless. It turns off automatically after an hour, or after two hours, or after three hours. So a lot of times I'll be playing and it shuts off on me. So, if you want to sort of experience what it's like to play with the Wii on your PC, you can do this, or you can get the Dolphin emulator and play some Wii games on your PC if your PC is fast enough. I'll leave the software and my script that I've been using in the description. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.